Are you ready for some Jersey? Well, we've got Jersey. The zipper was made here. The light bulb was made here. The color television calls the Garden State home. Everybody wants to know about New Jersey. Sandy beaches, beautiful cities. We even have the Jersey Turnpike. Inventors, music, the movies. You need an exit? We got them too. You want Jersey? This is Jersey. Welcome to this edition of This is Jersey. We're back in the city of Trenton today outside the unique and striking TerraCycle headquarters just off Route 1. While TerraCycle does great work with recycling around the world, it's the exterior walls of the building and the canvas they provide that bring us here today. We're talking to local artist Leon Rainbow, one of the first artists to paint these walls, about his art style of choice, graffiti. Leon has been doing murals for a long time on both coasts, and he's here in Trenton now sharing his art with the community in a variety of ways. Between organizing festivals, helping foster artistic interest in kids, and continuing to do amazing murals, Leon is making Trenton more colorful every day. When I was in first grade, it was during the 80s, so there was a lot of break dancing had just came out, and you know, there was movies, videos, uh, books, magazines and stuff. So once that came out and I seen like, the first movie I seen was called Star Wars and it was a documentary by um, Tony Silver and a few other people. But it was like, once I seen that they were painting on the trains and stuff like that in New York, um, I was like, oh, I want to do that. You know what I mean? And it was funny because I lived in Northern California and we didn't have any trains out there. But, you know, eventually as I progressed, you know, and I moved out to New Jersey and stuff, I've been able to meet a lot of those people that were in those videos and actually paint with a few of them. Wow, so tell me, um, what makes your art unique and when was the first mural you painted and was it legal? In like my teenage years, 13, 14, 15, and I tagged, you know what I mean? Writing my name on stuff, and that was in San Jose, California. But I guess my first official mural was here uh, in the city of Trenton in 1999. Uh, I came down here, I started going to Mercer County Community College and I was able to convince somebody in the city of Trenton that I could do a mural. So they, uh, you know, they gave me a very small budget, as spe well at least now what I would think of a small budget. And uh, they gave, there was this parking garage. Uh, the beautiful thing was it was right in the middle of the heart of the downtown area. So you know, I was able, I presented a few sketches and I did murals there and then some of the local restaurants and stuff, I did murals in 99 and early 2000. So that was like really when I first started. In 2003 or 2004, I met um, a graffiti artist named Pose2, another uh, Sue and Bass, and they really um, basically changed the whole way that I approached um, graffiti as art, you know. But in graffiti and art, they were much more experienced than me. Traditionally in graffiti, people mentor people, you know, and that's what I do today is, you know, you teach people how to do perspective, how to do the dimension, how to do the coloring. The same techniques and principles that apply in fine art apply in graffiti. And once you know the rules, then you can break the rules or bend the rules, you know. I went from tagging in California when I was young, but when I moved to North Jersey, there wasn't really a scene up there so I kind of just drew in in books and looked at magazines but there's certain things you can't really pick up or I couldn't pick up by looking at magazines so when they really taught me the right way uh, you know to do certain things and how to paint what you know how, how to fill everything in how to cut back you know all these l techniques and and tricks that were so important and I still use today you know um, that's really when I started to grow. And then from there, I've just been doing projects and canvases and, you know, just expanding what I do, um, you know, throughout that time until now. So, Leon, you've actually taken a, a, a hobby and turned it into a commercial business. Tell me how you did that and some of the projects you've worked on since the early 2000s. Uh, I guess I've worked on all different types of projects. I've done things from doing kids' rooms, you know, I've done a cover for Ink Magazine for Tom here at TerraCycle. I just did a mural for Jet.com in, in their corporate warehouse. I've worked with all different schools in the area, different businesses, everything from doing signs to doing full-scale murals. I guess the biggest project that I worked on um, was for uh, indoor go-kart 
track and we did a 165 foot wall by 15 foot wall. Um, this summer I'm working on a 100 foot wall downtown which was um, part of the I Am Trenton grants. So it was specifically for that neighborhood. So and I've really been developing a, kind of like an abstract style. Um, I just did a billboard on uh, Perry Street and Montgomery Street here in Trenton and excited about that because I was the second person ever to paint that spot and you know I was real pleased with the way that it came out. What's the process of creating the mural? You said you did some sketches and then you get approvals? Right. The process for creating a mural depends on whatever organization. You know if you're working with a private business it's much easier than say if you're going for a grant application or you know um, something more complicated like that or if you're dealing with cities and townships and stuff like that because you know basically you'll have like more of a a proposal process normally how I work on a mural though say if I was gonna come to your business I would come look at the wall get what your ideas are and then from there I would send you a proposal once you accept the proposal and, and give me a deposit then I would come up with a mock-up and I use basically a tablet. I, I have a Microsoft Surface Pro, so I just draw, take a picture of the wall, draw it on the wall, give the person a, a mock-up, and once they approve that mock-up, then I would, st you know, I would start to do the production of the mural. An annual event that we do here at TerraCycle is Jersey Fresh Jam, which is usually the second to third week of August. This year is our 13th annual event and uh, I'm the main organizer and what we do is we have uh, graffiti artists from all over the country come we have MCs, DJs uh, it's you know really just a, a hip-hop arts festival you know we had all different types of local rappers everything went pretty smoothly it was a great event what we try to do is we try to paint the background black and that's so that whatever color schemes that you work with are gonna work off of black. And this piece specifically, I did as a tribute to a prodigy from Mob Deep. He was a, a rapper and had died. And I had met him, you know, kind of just randomly in a club in like the late two, like 2007, 2008. And also uh, my friend Trey who also passed. But I chose to do like purples as what we call a reverse fill, which is a, a dark on the inside of the lettering and then light on the outside. It's basically like dark purples and pinks and then like with a white outline. And then I use the turquoise to set it off and then put a warm background. So really, you know, it's using perspective, warm and cool colors, you know, um, complementary color schemes. The character was like Prodigy in, in like one of his first videos was like driving a, a car with a, a red jersey on. So I just kind of incorporated that into the piece. Great, you know, we'll take a break now. We come back. I want to continue to talk about your career and the other art that you do. And we'll do that when we come back. Thank you so much for joining us for This Is Jersey. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to This Is Jersey. We're here outside the TerraCycle headquarters in Trenton today with local artist Leon Rainbow. Leon has been working at TerraCycle for years, creating art inside and outside the building. The relationship between he and the company has been a positive one, as they both aim to make the city and the world a more vibrant and beautiful place. Leon's here to tell us how the partnership got started, and what other kinds of art he's working on away from the walls. Since 2005, you know, when I met the CEO of TerraCycle, Tom Zaki, he said, let's check out what you guys could do. He said, okay, this one wall has to be TerraCycle related, you know, and we'll give you funding and stuff to, to cover your supplies. And then whatever else you guys want to do, you can do. So from that point forward, we were able to bring other influences and art from uh, Philadelphia, New York, where, you know, a lot of people have come through and painted. And, you know, we do that annual event here, Jersey Fresh Jam, but we also do classes, you know, and we've had several other events and stuff. So it's really become a melting pot of different artistic styles and techniques. Tell us about TerraCycle, just for our viewers who may not know. Okay. TerraCycle is an interesting company. You know, their slogan is eliminate the idea of waste. And what they do is they try to recycle things that are generally unrecyclable. Uh, they start out, interestingly enough, take, doing like a worm poop um, like tea in these big vats and then they package it in recycled Pepsi bottles and then basically it was fertilizer 
and they were uh, basically competing with Miracle Grow and stuff like that. And they were in, they started developing relationships with like Walmart and Home Depot and stuff like that. And then they went from there to where they're doing, taking things like Capri Sun wrappers and making, um, you know, shower curtains and, you know, just doing all different types of interesting products. They're doing uh, cigarette recycling, all different types of products that people generally think is of unrecyclable, they recycle it and, you know, really are a great company to work with. Beyond the graffiti art, I know you do other art. Tell me about that, including body painting. Other than graffiti, you know, I started doing canvases and in, around the same time that I started doing graffiti uh, more seriously in the early 2000s. And then, you know, I guess in the late 2007, 2008, around then, you know, uh, I seen an ad on Craigslist for, and it said like, I'll trade professional body painting and or photography if you paint my studio. So I went to this lady's house, uh, her, I painted her studio, did some characters and stuff. She showed me which types of paint to use and, you know, basically how to do the body painting. I was already had uh, artistic skills, you know, basically from graffiti, and then I just figuring out how to apply what I do to the body, which, you know, it's provocative or whatever, but, you know, the hardest part is normally, like, when I do lettering, it's very horizontal, and then when you do a body, it's very vertical, so it's, it's basically changing the whole way that I think of a canvas in general, you know, and, tr and trying to have all the designs work with the female form. And what other stuff have you done? I've done canvases, you know, I've done installations. I basically try to work in, you know, like with my canvases, I do a real mixed media approach. So I use spray paint and acrylic, you know, just for the size. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I really like to do, you know, something a little bit different. For uh, the Art All Night Festival, I've done different interactive, uh, you know, um, installations and stuff. We did blacklight body painting, which was, you know, kind of taking the body painting, but then taking it a step further by putting it in a blacklight environment so all the, the body painting was glowing. And then uh, another time I did like video, um, uh, what do they call it, video mapping. So basically I did like a black and white outline and then they projected the video into the outlines. So it was like trying to take what I do and then just give it a different twist. We have to take a break now. We come back. I know you work with young people and I want to talk about what you're doing to change young people here in Trenton and in the region. We'll do that when we come back. Thank you so much for joining us for This Is Jersey. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to This Is Jersey. We're out in the courtyard of TerraCycle in Trenton today, surrounded on all sides by incredible graffiti artwork that adorns the building's walls. One of the artists, Leon Rainbow, is here to talk to us about what art, like these murals, mean to the city of Trenton, and especially the youth, and what he's doing to help kids explore and create more art. I work on all different types of projects with young people. One of the projects that I just did was at Christina Sykes Academy, which is a K through eight school, and it's a, a private school here in Trenton. And basically what we did was we used this material called parachute cloth, which is a real thin nylon material. And then I primed it. I had the kids paint different shapes and do their handprints. And then I actually um, gelled them onto the wall using uh, Nova gel and basically adhered them to the wall as part of the leaves of the tree to make up the, the, um, you know, the total project. And I also just started another or finished another project which was with Hedgepath Williams Middle School, where um, I had the middle school students work with spray paint, work with acrylic, and you know we did like a mixed media kind of, uh, we did a four panel piece that said each one teach one. So uh, that was like, I took it, it took us about a month. We were only working about one day a week, but you know, working with different students here has, you know, trying to bring up the next generation because you know, really because that would be my buyers in the future, you know, and also, you know, I feel like uh, a lot of kids in the inner city and just in general aren't really as exposed to art as they could be. And, you know, one of the things that I try to show them is like, oh, this is a viable career, you know, that you can do art, you know, make a decent living and, you know, create, you know, and, and, and be able to, you know, and I feel like the other thing that's important is that the students get to see their work and be a part of it you know, and then they see it like, 
oh, you know, th this mural that we did five years ago is still there, you know, that type of thing. Why is art influential and important to the community? Art is so important to the community because, you know, I've heard it, a saying before of like, you know, you measure the culture of a society by the art, you know, and if you look at it, you know, art is very powerful. Graffiti and street art, some people don't like it, some people like it, but it, it gives people a very powerful reaction. Young people generally, you know, gravitate towards street art, so it can be a real powerful way to interact with them, you know, on a different level. And, you know, Trent makes the world take, so, you know, this is like the next version of that, you know, if you go back you know, when we were making Roebling Steel, now we're creating walls, you know, so it's, it's just Trenton still making, it's just a little bit of a different type of take on that. Great, you know, we have to take a break now. We come back, for all of our viewers that want to learn more about you, the way they can reach you, we'll do that. We come back. Thank you so much for joining us on This Is Jersey. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to This Is Jersey. By now, you've seen some of the best graffiti art the city of Trenton has to offer, and a lot of it is provided by Leon Rainbow, local artist and organizer, whose mission it is to help Trenton be a more colorful place. He's here to tell us about how you can find out and see more of his art. So how can people hire you? People can either go on my website, leonrainbow.com, for the body painting, rockyourbody.com, or on social media, on Instagram and Twitter, it's uh, at aerosol leon, with one L. Art is so important to me because basically, you know, it's, it's what I've always wanted to do, you know, and I really enjoy um, expressing myself and, you know, learning and, you know, making mistakes and, you know, doing different things. And, you know, a lot of it is just like, I feel most comfortable out here in the yard painting with my friends than I do anywhere else. Leon, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for sharing all of your art and thank you for all the good work you're doing with the young people here in Trenton. Thank you, Gary. And thank you for watching. We'll see you again next time.